This is the Aegis Marks. Let's do this. Hi guys, I'm Holly from Ventnil and this is the Aegis Max. I want to thank Esig Click for sending me this little bad boy for the purposes of our review. You know what to do, visit esigclick.co.uk. If you look down in the description, you will find the written review link for this bad boy. It's in more detail than this video is going to be. And there's a written, there's more pictures, more detailed pictures. Check out Esig Click, guys. You do it. What we're going to do right now is we're going to look at the specs, then we're going to look at my opinions. And then we're gonna try the strength test. Let's go! So this bad boy is 93 by 46 by 34. As the tank is 26 by 42. The Zeus tank. The Zeus tank is 2 million TPD, 3 mil outside TPD, and when you put a bubble glass on, it's five! It takes a 21700 battery, but it does come with a battery adapter, so you can use it 18650. It's got a resistance range of 0.05 all the way up to 3 ohms. Sorry, I don't know what's happening with the uh, light sensor. It doesn't seem to be working for me today. Oh, you guessed it. It is waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. It's got variable wattage, temperature control, and bypass modes. Top to bottom airflow, it comes in at the top, goes down inside into the coil, and then back up. It's also got top fill, like a half turn. Top fill! Some nice holes inside there, look at that. Beautiful, bloody beautiful, I tell you. It's got a fast fire time of 0.02 seconds. As I've seen connection plate on it, it's got a 30 mil connection plate. Look at that bad boy. It's beautiful. So if you've got the Asgard, this will go very well with the 30 mil Asgard. It's got a lovely ergonomic grip. Shite, I broke it. It's got all the overtime protection, overcharge protection, all that crap. It charges at 1.5 via micro USB. Ah, well, that's that. My opinions. It's another Aegis mod. There's not really much more to say about it. Um, like I said, the written review goes in a lot more detail, but I'm not going to tell you much more than it's an Aegis mod. It's that size. They've discussed. It feels good in the hand. The screen. I have to keep hitting it because I broke it. Screen looks like any other Aegis mod. Tank is awesome. The If, if you can get a coil that taste well and last well it's absolutely awesome if you can't then you're screwed one of the coils only lasted a couple of days for me after five days it was still working it was 0 0.2 uh no, no 0.4 ohm coil 0.2 ohm it went over 0.2 ohm coil it tasted amazing there were clouds for days if you've seen my instagram you'll see the huge mungus thick clouds i got from it and I loved it for the first day. After that, it went downhill drastically. And I couldn't really use it at 80 watts anymore because it was providing a burnt taste. That's a bit crap. But if you look online, a lot of people do say that the coils are hit and miss. Sometimes they're awesome. Sometimes they're not. The mod itself is very standard, very basic. I like it. I like it a lot. But what I did, right, is I dropped it quite a few times. And then I chucked it in some water, then I chucked it in some paint, chucked it in some beer, ran over it one, two, three, four, four times, then left my car on top of it. And it didn't quite like that. So, see, it's gone off again. Shizer. So, that's it. A very quick, short opinions. There's not much more to say about it. If you've had an Aegis mod before, you'll know the great, simple, heavy-duty mods. There is not much more to say about it. Are they milking it? I've got mixed opinions, you know, because I kind of think, well, they're not milking it because they, they're all different types of devices. But then there's some like this, which is apparently just a upgraded version of a normal Aegis. So I suppose they are kind of milking it, they aren't milking it. In the written review, I think I said both. They're not milking it and they are milking it. So I'm really not made my mind up on that yet. So, 
as you can see, it, see it's broke again. Watch, watch. This is what we'll do. Turn it on. Have a puff. Have another one because it tastes so damn good. And then we'll hit it. Gone. It's gone. I broke it, guys. I broke it. Didn't have to chuck it downstairs. I just had to bloody break it. So, yeah, knock it. Shit. I'll play you the video in a second. Um, basically, I didn't want to chuck it off highest building I could find, all that. I wanted to do practical things that the vast majority of people would know. So I thought people drop things in water all the time, be it the toilet, the sink, the bath, a river, whatever. So I tried that. Um, if you're in a pub and someone spills beer on it, it needs to be beer proof. If it's water proof, it's obviously going to be beer proof. I know someone that broke a mod by dropping it in a bucket of paint while decorating. So I tried that. Um, with the tank on, I did all the tests without the tank on, apart from the paint one. I took my coil out, because obviously it'll be a knack of a coil, you can't use it after it's had paint on it. Dipped it in, took it out, took all the tank to pieces and watched it. Um, and it were all decent. So, to test it for its strength, like I said, I didn't want to chuck it down a 30 storey block, because not many people live in a 30 storey block, apart from them that live on. You know what I mean? So, I thought, well... Some of the people do relatively, at least once in their life, is drop it off the roof of a car because they put it on the car while they're dropping kids in or while they're doing some petrol station, whatever. Then we drive off. So I figured if I do that, put it on top, drop it, then when you come back to look for it, you don't see it. That'd be guttering because you might run over it. So I did that and the video explains it all, but there you go. And what I don't explain in the video is the outcome. So when I picked it up, I went, Damn, and it wouldn't start. Uh, I tried it several times just to make sure it weren't just me pressing the button wrong, and it wouldn't start. So I went in, tried a couple more times. Um, then I thought, well, ooh, I want my battery back. So I took battery out, and the battery's fine. Let's show you. See, the battery's fine, and everything inside the battery's fine. No cracks, no blemishes, no nothing. Um... So I put the battery back in, put the cap back on, tried it, still didn't work. So then I got the coil thing that comes with it, that's really random, and used that to tighten the bottom really tight. Then it worked, and it was only about 10 minutes ago that I realised when you tap it, not even hard, just to, then it stops working again. But I have just realised I had to tighten the bottom that hard, it's dented my battery in. I don't know if you can tell over here. Which is a bit of piss tech, because it's pretty much new battery. So without further ado, let's check out that te stress testing, damage testing, trying to break it. We'll test out that video. Then just stay tuned because then we're going to do the giveaway where I'll be giving you a brand new one of these away. So to test out the Geek Vip Aegis Max, I didn't just want to do some obscene random things like take it up in a drone and see how high it can fall before it breaks, all that. I wanted to do realistic things. So I thought some most common ways for people to break the devices be it a vape or a phone and obviously the most simple one is water you drop it in mock buckets you drop it in a pond so you get pushed into a pool with it in your pocket drop it down a toilet any of that sort of stuff so that's why i went with i went with a nice simple water test Then I thought, well, what's next thing? And I thought, well, if someone spills a beer in a pub, that can break your phone. So we'll try that. I know it's only the same as water, but we tried it out with beer.
Next up, someone came to my shop of, of a year, friend, and she said, I just brought a mod. You'll never guess how. How? Well, I dropped it in a bucket of paint. So, obviously, my next thing was to get a bucket of paint, chuck it in there, saturate it. Now, on this, I actually kept the tank on. I took the coil out because I didn't want to waste the coil. Obviously, you can't use the coil after it's been in paint. So, I took the coil out and put it back in after. Now, we all know that the ages can be withstand being thrown at a wall, but that, how often do we throw as mods at a wall? So, I thought, what actual strength tests can we do for this? And something that most of us have done before, left something on the roof of his car, strapping kids in or putting shopping in whatever, put some on top of the car, get in, drive off, gone forever. So I thought, cracking, so I left it on top of the car and drove off. But then I thought, well, what happens if you come back, you don't see your mod on the floor, and you drive over it? So that's what I did. I drove over it, front tyre went over it, back tyre went over it, back tyre went back over it again, then back tyre stopped on the top of it. Michael Letshirt. Sorry, I'm not very good with uh, names. But you, dude, by the order of the comicpicker.com, have won the Artery 18650. Good sir, good sir. You need to comment, you need to message me on Instagram or Facebook in regards to postage. Yes, you have to pay postage. Um, and the rest of you, I'm going to send you this, this exact device. Fine, I'll send you a brand new one of them. That's the Aegis Max. We're going to send you one of them, but first you need to go down into the description, read the terms and conditions, they're very important, and then you need to subscribe. You should have already been subscribed, guys, come on. Then you need to comment. You don't have to put anything particular in your comment, just Harley the best or something like that, whatever you want. Uh, and then that's it. Next Tuesday or Monday, Tuesday, I will choose a winner at random using randomcommentpicker.com. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's, called. it's just a website. Jeez. If you want to comment but you don't want to win this, then all you have to do is comment and say that you don't want to comment. Or don't say you don't want to comment and you might win it. Don't particularly care, to be fair. Uh, so, you get on with that. Congratulations to Michael. We've got a very special review coming up next week, and I'm not allowed to tell you what, because I've already been done once for telling you. Guys, you know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure, thumbs up, thingy, job there. make sure you subscribe, make sure you ring the bell. Thank you all so very much. I love you all. Don't forget, Sunday at 6. Till then, stay cloudy! Yeah, yeah, okay. See you next
next week then. Go home and have a cup of tea.